Hey friends, so the last time I shared a video blog, I talked about one of my favorite ways to study God's Word, and that's a one-year devotional Bible. And I shared with you in that video that you can go to the day of the year. It's got an Old Testament, a New Testament, a Psalm, and a Proverb reading. It's in little bite-sized pieces, and I love to study the Bible this way. I've been doing this for several years. But as I heard back from several of you, I just want to encourage you that if you're ever reading God's Word, so for example, you're in the Old Testament, and um, so like right now, we're studying Job. I'm, in, I'm reading Job, and I'll be honest, sometimes I can get lost in the words, and then before I know it, I'm just really reading words. I'm really reading to check off my list that I had read the Old Testament, New Testament, Psalm, and Proverb. But you see, studying God's Word isn't supposed to be something that we just check off our list of things to do. So if you find yourself doing that, I just want to encourage you, skip the Old Testament reading and just do the New Testament reading, the Psalm, and the Proverb. And it will, I guarantee you, it will breathe fresh life into your quiet time. And, um, you'll be encouraged and you'll be more likely to stay committed to being in God's word each day. And that goes as well for the chronological Bible. I heard from some of you, you got a chronological Bible, which just thrills me when I hear back from you and you tell me that you're, you're taking my advice. I love that. Um, I did this um, study Bible. It's not a study Bible, excuse me, a devotional Bible. I did this for several years and you can tell because it's fallen apart. But y'all, I'm going to be honest, when it was time to study Leviticus or the Minor Prophets um, or Job, like where I'm at right now, sometimes it just felt like I was reading mere words. And we never want to approach God's Word like that. His Word speaks to us deep within our soul and in our hearts. And, um, you know, when a verse just jumps off the page at you and addresses something that you're going through in your life um, and, and just speaks wisdom or encouragement or comfort, or maybe it's a rebuke. Maybe it's a, a, a correction. That's God speaking to you through his word. And so that's the thrill of studying God's word. That is the, the joy um, that the God of the universe wants to talk to us in our quiet time and and establish a relationship with us. And so as you use these tools, I just want to encourage you not to go through the motions or feel like it's just one more thing you're checking off your list of things to do. But if you get bored or if you're not digging the reading, just jump on to the next thing. And um, I guarantee you something out of God's word will quicken your heart. Be encouraged.